Hey kids, how you doing out there? This is your old friend Mr. McCobb and today we're going to go an expose into this fella, which I affectionately name Gentleman Jim because he's so polite tipping his hat. Gentleman Jim, at the request of a uh, fella haunter, is I'm going to explain him today, and he's a lot simpler than what you actually think. He was a project that took me about, oh, I, I think three years to finally fix. Laziness. Sheer laziness. I have no other, no other um, excuse. Laziness. But he's one of the ones I'm most proud of. So, let's get sh going, shall we? As you can see, Gentleman Jim is a rather dapper fellow. He, um, his head goes up and it comes back down to go, go on his neck stuff. This is, of course, done with strings, black strings. And these two strings right here, which you may or not may not be able to see, are just basically guy wires, just to make sure that his head doesn't go do this number off and up. I mean, it'd be, so it'll keep it nice and straight for the audience. Um, looking under his hat, there's the pulley. Why did I pull a pulley there? Simple. I don't want to fix broken strings. So that's that. Now, the whole the whole secret of this is there is a piece of conduit running from here. Down the arm, as you can see, his arm is just totally out of whack proportion, but that's okay. This is Halloween. Going down here, down here, and then all the way down to the bottom, which I'll show you in a second. And I've got to show you this. This is my favorite tombstone in the vault, kind of. He gets, he gets it. That is my favorite tombstone. That is my absolute favorite. So. On to the mechanics of it. There's the heart of the gym, and it's finger fixing to get wound up in it. This hand right here rests on the tomb, rest on the tombstone. Uh, keep it out of the way and look more, nat more natural or unnatural as it may be. So I will lift his shirt up and show you. If you can see here, this is basically just a, a rotating arm with a 6 RPM motor or thereabouts. And there, of course, is a little, a little pulley I, I had to get a straight up shot to this conduit piece right here. That makes sure that there is no sort of sharp edges or anything to wear down the string because, but frankly, I don't want to be fooling with Halloween props on Halloween. I want them to work. so. I put a lot of pulleys in, in my uh, projects, but this right here is a little uh, rotating washer, basically, and it, it keeps rotating. So th actually, there's no um, there's no um, stress on it whatsoever. This right here is just because I didn't have any um, uh, flat irons to build this. Uh, all this is trial and error. Honestly, it, uh, that's all it is, trial and error. His body is made of um, PVC pipe, of course, the plastic of choice. And this is, of course, a, PV, a piece of uh, uh, conduit, metal conduit, goes up to the shoulder, takes a turn, takes a turn, on up through on um, up through the top where you where we saw the, the pulley up there. And it pulls and it uh, lifts and lowers the head. Really he's quite really he's quite simple. It's not he's not too much uh, too much problem to make. And his body right here is basically a bunch of bubble wrap that's uh, I took duct tape and just wrapped and wrapped and wrapped wrap. This is not a shirt. This is a piece of fabric, and I just basically uh, laid it flat, sewed it down right here, and hot glued buttons on it, and hot glued the tie. So if it if it looks good, it's just fine. That that's you know thing in theater. Head, of course, is made of a foam skull 
that you got that, well, I need to just kind of show you the head and everything. Oh, there we go. There we go. Head. Head is, is up on the skull, right there. Uh oh, it's hung, hung in the pulley. And phone skull, get them at Kmart or Walmart. Uh, most any, most any Halloween. I buy them. I buy up all the rest of them once they finish Halloween. Get them for like a dollar a piece. And right here, his skin, of course, is model magic. My medium of choice, just because I'm, I'm used to using it. Details airbrushed. The, it's not the greatest, but hey. I'm still learning how to do airbrush. Eyeballs from monsterguts.com. They're basically deodorant balls with glued pupils on them. Hair, just some little, some uh, fake fur that I bought from uh, a Hancock's and stuck, stuck it on his head with a hot glue gun, my best friend. So here we are. During the night, I can honestly, I can honestly say these wires disappear. What will, I, what will I do different? I would probably change these wires, these wires, not wires, strings out to 65 pound fishing line. Why? I don't know. There's not any reason to. Once, once he's in the yard you can, and it's darker, you can't see them. I put the hat up here to hide to hide all the mechanism. I guess I need to show you that. Okay, up we go. There we go. I put the hat up there, show the mechanism, and to, and to give him a reason to raise to raise his to raise his hat and give him character as gentleman Jim. So very easy, very very easy. All I had to do right here was bend up his. Um, rip it a piece of bevel to the conduit, bend it back around, and just pull it right there, and that's all she wrote. Yes, it does take it. I will say this: it does take a little bit of work getting all the numbers right, <laughs> not numbers, but all the measurements right. And there's most of all my projects are um, trial and error. I, I'm in school of trial and error. I don't. I wish I could do models and do the math and make sure everything works the right the first time. I can't. That's just me. I am totally, I am totally right brain, and my left brain died a long time ago as far as logic and mathematics. So I had to try everything by trial and error, but it's fun that way. So that's it. That is Gentleman Jim, and if you have any questions whatsoever, Please be sure to drop me a line. I don't bite very hard. Mr. McCobb at Hotmail.com. See y'all and have a macabre day. Ooh, that kind of looks kind of weird, kind of scary in a way.